Hey everyone, it is Monday, July 5th. The time is 3.58 p.m. And the temperature right now is 27 degrees Celsius. And that was the 94 Wellesley Street bus I just got off of. And there's a look into St. Jamestown. And this here is Wellesley Street East. Yeah, I'm currently walking east along the north side. And the plan for this one is to head a few blocks east of here to Parliament Street. And then I'll walk south down Parliament. And I'll be heading through Cabbage Town. And past Regent Park. And Moss Park. And into Corktown. There's a look at these St. Jamestown Towers. So just to the south of here are the Victorian houses of Cabbage Town. And I'll be sticking to Parliament Street for this walk, which is the main retail stretch through Cabbage Town. And this would be the east end of downtown. That bus I was on would turn north here at Parliament and head up to Castle Frank Station. And in the other direction, I think it goes all the way to Ossington Station. That was my first time ever riding the 94 Wellesley. So just east of here, on the other side of the street, is where Wellesley becomes mostly a residential street. There's the Toronto Filipino Center. I'm not really sure what the street patio situation is here in Cabbage Town, but we'll find out. Tokyo Ramen. It's been a while since I've been through here.
and this would be Prospect Street. I'll have to do a walking video that covers most of the residential streets, or the notable ones anyways, in Cabbage Town at some point. Strong coffee and delicate treats. And here's the neighborhood beer store. And believe it or not, the smell of beer is quite strong right here. It's interesting. And this is Winchester Street coming up. And on the corner there is the old Winchester Hotel. Formerly known as the Lakeview Hotel. I don't know where they got that name from. I don't think you'd be able to see the lake from it. But it opened back in 1888. Maybe I'll cross over to the east side here. There's an old antique shop. Which fortunately is now open for in-store shoppers. Same goes for this barber shop. And it looks like there's a redevelopment plan for this block. I'll have to look into what that is because those buildings are definitely going to be saved and incorporated into the new development. Unless it's just an extensive renovation. On the left is the Canadian Contemporary Dance Theatre. Cars reversing. I just wanted to get a, another look at that building. And there isn't much in the way of sidewalk patios so far. There's one at a Vietnamese restaurant. Although I'm not sure a hot bowl of Vietnamese soup is just what the doctor ordered on a nice day like this. Here is Carlton Street. And you could take this east to Riverdale Park West. Seems to be a disagreement going on over there. It's a lineup to get into a TD Canada Trust. There's Carlton Street. And that'll terminate at Young Street, and then it'll turn into college. 
think Cabbage Town extends over to around Sherburn Street. I'm gonna cross back over to the other side. I think it's a bit more interesting. AAA tax. There's a hookah lounge. There's someone smoking some hookah outside. place, I think, is the House of Parliament. So we can eat a Stratton bar. I'm not sure it'll be much busier than this come dinner time. Bargain cocktail and snack bar. I've not noticed that place before. Right next to a couple of cannabis retailers. The Tilted Dog Pub and Kitchen. A 506 Carlton streetcar, so that'll be turning left at Gerard here. That'll be heading all the way to Main Station or Main Street Station. Here is Gerard Street, and that's Anniversary Park. I've been curious to try this Japanese street food place. I just haven't been hungry and in the area at the same time. Here's a look into Regent Park, which is currently under redevelopment. Those older buildings straight ahead won't be there much longer. I've done a video before where I walked through there and talked about some of the changes. some remnants of Cabbage Town on the right. I think they're nearing the final phase or the second last phase 
of the redevelopment of Regent Park. So it'll see mostly shiny glass condos like those take up this spot and all the people that are living there through Toronto Community Housing will be rehoused or rehomed. I don't know why I said it like that. Into smaller but newer spots. That's sort of the idea to create a mixed income neighborhood. And I think so far it's been relatively successful. There's Lord Dufferin Public School. And you can get a glimpse of the skyline in the financial district just off to the west. Not a great glimpse. It's a very white looking sky off in that direction. Here is Dundas Street. So to the west of here will be Dundas Square and the Eaton Center. And then eventually they'll take you through to Chinatown and up to Dundas West Station. There's the Regent Park Community Health Center and the Toronto Council Fire Native Cultural Center. So Parliament will go south down to Lakeshore. And I think I'll just take it as far as either King or Front. Major street to the south will be Shooter, and after that will be Queen.
Let's go, let's go to do that right man. He's here. On the surface, it certainly feels a bit rougher on the edges. I think a lot of these buildings just aren't in the best cosmetic of condition. Well, I've never felt unsafe through here for a minute. And this is Shooter. I'll just cross back over to the east side. And there's a look at the Moss Park Apartments. That's the 65 Parliament bus, so that'll be heading up to Castle Frank Station. That's the same destination that the 94 Wellesley bus had. It really feels like a lot of the redevelopment and gentrification kind of skipped over this part of downtown. As just to the east of here across the Don River, you'll find South Riverdale, where the popular Riverside and Leslieville neighborhoods are. I was determined to stay on his left side. I'm usually quite stubborn about keeping to the right. I let him win that battle. And there's a 501 Queen Street car turning onto Queen, and that would be coming up from King Street as there's no streetcar service to the east of here on King Street. There's some track work and water main repairs going on that line, so it's kind of a mess. If you're trying to navigate the 504. There's a fancy e-scooter. It's got RGB shocks and everything. It's even got lights on his backpack. I wonder if those function as turn signals. That's kind of cool. This building here is the old home furniture carpet company, going back to 1907. And I learned that the same time as you did, as I just read that off the plaque. Back at that building. And this is Richmond Street East. It's a one-way street that heads west. Wanted bike couriers. 
reminds me of a movie I just rewatched called Line of Sight. It's a 2012 movie that features a lot of people who are bike couriers riding their fixies through cities like New York. Man, this building here shot up pretty quick. And this, this not used to be an auto garage that specialized in old Mercedes and Jaguars and that kind of thing. Parliament. I have some friends that live in here. I moved in just at the start of the pandemic and they were able to renegotiate a lower rent. As soon after that, rent started to plummet. So they cut a deal with their landlord to extend their initial lease agreement, but at a lower rate. So it was kind of fair for both parties. Apparently it's a really noisy building to live in. They have some unconsiderate, or unconsiderate, inconsiderate neighbors. I like to party into the late hours of the night. And this is Adelaide Street, which is a one-way street that runs to the east. Tattle Creek. I wonder if that's the creek that runs through the Cedarville Ravine. And has since been buried. Too far to the south of here on the left is the distillery district. However, not too long ago, I was through there in a video. Oh, there's some bike cops in the middle of an intersection having an interaction with the vehicle, it looks like. That red car right there. for King. Although I believe they don't go any further east than here. As you can see, this car is, or street car is turning north. So if you were on the street car, you'd have to hop out and jump on that bus. And that bus will go over to Broadview Avenue, then north up to Broadview Station. And it looks like the cops let that red car go. Now they're engaging the blue car. And for whatever reason, Seems like a case of road rage, I heard that one cop say. If they didn't actually witness what happened, it's really just someone's word versus someone else's. And if there's no damage to their vehicles, really, what can the police do? And there's 51 Division. And this, the original part of the building, goes back to, I think, 1898. And that was the original 
Consumers Gas Company location. And those cops on bikes probably work out of that 51 division there. They do have to deal with the high, highest violent crime rate in the city of Toronto. That's the distillery district just off to the south of here. And I think that's it. There's not a whole lot more in the way of interesting sights to see on Parliament other than the distillery district where I just was a few days ago. So I will make my way back home and get this thing edited. I got a new toy. I was waiting around today to come via courier. That's a new streaming phone. I've already found a few minor problems with it. So I'm curious to maybe do a quick stream tonight just to test it out. And in that walk where I went through the distillery district, I came up to here at Berkeley in Parliament. Or rather, Berkeley and Front. So rather than duplicate that part, let's head north up to King. And then I think I'll try to jump on a streetcar and take that over back to the subway. This is where 504 slash 505 bus is doing its turnaround. So I guess that'll turn right here and just head up to Broadview Station. Yep. And I hope you enjoyed this walk down Parliament Street. I'll just leave the camera running for a bit. until I get to the streetcar stop. And there is a streetcar coming now that I'm gonna miss. Oh well. That's a 503 Kingston streetcar. Nobody pressed the cross signal there, so I would have been waiting a while. And now it's King Street East. how close I am to the next stop. Here's where I can pull out my handy Rocket Man app and see when the next streetcar is coming. The old Johnny would have just kept walking and included from here to King Station as part of the video. This is the new lazy version. And it says four minutes till the next streetcar. Oh, two minutes. So I'm just gonna fish out my mask here. Again, thanks for watching this walk. Maybe if I get on the streetcar, I'll leave the camera running. If I can get a quiet view out the window. I don't want to have the camera awkwardly close to someone.
But if you wish to support the channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description, as well as YouTube channel memberships. They both kind of overlap, so no need to do both, or either. It is appreciated though. I also have an Instagram account. I guess it's time for the bonus part of the video. So if you want to cut out now, I don't blame you. Let's see when this streetcar is due here. I don't know if that's focusing, but it says the 504 will be here in one minute. transit card ready. I've got the cloth face mask on. It's not one of the disposables. It's a bit hotter than the other ones. I am rocking a Dr. Pepper shirt. This is absolutely the kind of quality content you guys tune in for as I shamelessly extend the length of this video. All right, here comes the streetcar. If I'm sitting near anyone, I'll probably just go quiet for the rest of the ride if I can get a view at the window. If not, maybe I'll just end it. Let's, uh, you can cheat and see how much time is left in the video and guess what I end up doing, but <laughs> let's hop onto the streetcar. And it looks like I've got a view facing south. So this is the St. Lawrence neighborhood. There's George Brown College. some TTC fare inspectors checking out some art. I'll probably be hopping on the next streetcar and checking everyone's Presto card to make sure they've paid. There goes Jarvis.
and we are almost at Young Street. We're just heading into the financial district, and I'll get off at Young and hop on to the subway at King Station. Seems to be some construction work at the intersection that's causing this hold up for a bit here. The future home of Google Next Canada. Stop. Young Street. King. We just rolled by. And here's the King Eddie. off right when we clear Young Street here, which is just up ahead. Here we go. Please look right for traffic when exiting. Now it's down into King Station. This would normally be rush hour, and this would be one of the busiest stations for escaping the financial district. But most office workers in this area are still working from home. And that's pretty evident by just the way people are dressed normally You'd see a lot of collared shirts and that sort of thing in the station at this time. I used to be one of those people that headed home around now.
And the next train is due in one minute. I think I hear trains coming from both directions. Comes a southbound train. We got a better look at this one, anyways. Northbound train. Sweet. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. And I will catch you on the next one. Please stand clear of the doors.